Hello and welcome to all in this video lecture series on 8051 microcontroller. In this video lecture, we will discuss the program for block transfer in 8051 microcontroller from internal memory to internal memory. So let's begin with it. So we are there with this program statement, write an assembly language program to transfer say n is equal to 5 bytes of data from internal memory location L1 that is from 40H onwards to internal memory location 50H onwards. In short, what we have to do? We are there with some portion of a memory and in this internal memory, we are having say this internal memory locations 40, 41, 42, 43 and 44 and some 8 bit values are present at this successive memory locations. So what we have to do, whatever the data that present from 40 edge onwards up to 45 as the n is equal to 5 to a memory location 50 edge onwards that means from 50 edge to 54 edge here. So in short before execution we are there with this simple 40, 41, 42, 43 uh, 44 these are the five memory location all these memory locations hold some values here and after execution whatever the values that are present at 40 this should be get copied at 50 at 41 at 51 at 42 at 52 at 43 at 53 and at 44 at 54 as we are going to deal with uh, say n is equal to 5 bytes of successive memory locations so because of that we are going to transfer these five memory blocks from 40H onwards into 50H onwards here. Okay. So here simple when we are going to talk about this right. So in order to execute this program what we are required the basic thing that we require is what memory pointer right. Because we have to access and successive memory locations okay and as this is an internal memory location we are supposed to use the memory pointer R0 that is register R0 and R1 as internal memory pointers here. And in order to keep the track of blocks of memories that are transferred from say this source to destination right and as the n is equal to 5 mentioned here we are dealing with one counter suppose I am using R2 register as a counter where the required number of memory blocks that we are supposed to transfer for that much am amount or for that much value we are defining this count here. Suppose we are supposed to uh, say copy the 6 memory bytes then the counter value will be what 6 here right. So what is the logic here? Simple uh, the two different uh, what we call the mem memory pointers we are going to use. The first memory pointer is register R0 and the second one is a R1. The R0 is going to point out 40, then 41, 42, 43, 44 sequentially. R1 is going to point out 50, 51, 52, 53 and 54 sequentially. So what we will do? Using indirect addressing mode, whatever the value that present at first memory location that we will copy into accumulator and the same value we will copy at a memory location pointed by register R1. So once the one memory byte transfer is completed, we are going to decrement the count by one. Okay, we are going to check whether it is equal to zero. If it is not equal to zero, again we are going to repeat the same process. Okay, means first initialize the memory pointers with these initial memory locations that is R0 with 40, R1 with 50. Then transfer this memory block, then increment the memory pointer by one that means after completing the first uh, memory block transfer the pointer will point out the next memory location decrement the counter by one so uh, for first memory block transfer the value of r2 initially it is 0 5 so after completion of first memory block transfer the value will be 0 4 then after second 3 then after third 2 after fourth 1 and after last the value is equal to 0 and once the value reached to 0, we are going to stop this execution. So in this way, we are going to develop the logic to transfer the memory blocks, the 5 memory blocks from source memory locations towards the destination memory location. So let us check how the things are going to work here. So here we are there with this program. 
so these are the some memory locations 40h onwards successive memory location going to hold some random values here okay and the 50h onwards after reset say the values present at these memory locations are zero then simple the r0 we are using as a first memory pointer which is going to point out a memory location 40h onwards r1 the second memory pointer going to point out memory location 50h onwards and as we are supposed to transfer these five blocks of memories from source to destination the register r2 is used as a counter and this is going to hold a value 0 5 here okay uh, so let us start how the execution is going to deal with the uh, program okay so here first initially r0 to r7 equal to 0 accumulator value is equal to 0 so first i am going to load a value 40 okay so 40h is copied into register r0 and 50h is copied into register r1 so what will happen r0 and r1 are going to hold the base address of source memory location as well as the destination memory location and as we have to transfer the five memory blocks right the r2 which is used as a counter there we are loading a value 0 5 here okay so now move a comma at pointer r0 as we know that this is at pointer r0 in the sense indirect addressing mode so the because of presence of this at sign the value present in this r0 register is treated as memory location address so what this instruction will do the value that present at memory location pointed by r0 get copied into an accumulator so let us check what will happen here the a is equal to 0 0 so after execution of this instruction the value of a is a 24 so where is that 24 present the 24 present at memory location 40 h here and where is this 40 present it's there into this r0 register in short the value 24 is present at memory location and this memory location is pointed by register r0 here okay so now the content of accumulator are copied to a memory location which is pointed by r1 and that memory location is what 50 h here so the first block of memory that is from 40 h the data present at 40 h is copied at 50 h here so in this way we have completed the first data transfer then just increment the value of present in r0 and r1 so presently the value of r0 is 41 and the value of r1 is a 51 means now the r0 is going to point out the next memory location and r1 is again going to point out the next memory location r1 is now going to point out 51 h and r0 is going to point out the memory location 40 h here right so now decrement once the first data block transfer we have completed so because of that what will happen now the value that present in r2 is decremented by 1 so earlier it was 5 now it is 4 and as it is not equal to 0 the program is going to transfer to this up label and where is that up label again the copy the value present at memory location pointed by r0 here so in this way we are going to say just pay attention here okay so the second memory block has been transferred then the third then this fourth and now this fifth Okay, so the last memory block is also transferred here. Okay, now say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the 5 successive memory blocks we have transferred. Now the memory pointer R0 is going to point out the next memory location that is 45H here as shown here and R1 is going to point out the next memory location 55H here. Okay, so as this is 45 and 55, next memory locations are pointed, the value present at 45 is a A3. But let us check out what will happen. The content of R2 are now 0, 1. So it is now decremented by 1. So now this value is equal to 0. And as it is 0, means it is equal to 0, what will happen? The program come out from this loop. Right. So in this way, as we have loaded the value, the, uh, the counter value as a 0, 5, because we are supposed to transfer only the 5 memory blocks, this entire loop, that is data transfer loop, is going to execute only 5 times here. If I am going to increase the count here, then the successive memory locations will be accessed by this program. So in this way, we can do the simple data transfer from internal memory blocks to internal memory blocks here.